What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. And there's a reason why I'm laying down, man. I'm not lay, laying down because I'm tired. I'm laying down because I'm tired. The Raiders, man. Finally cut. Alex Leatherwood. 17th pick of the draft last year. And I'm just mad, dog. I'm mad because John Gruden and Mike Mayock, man. What I really want to say about those two guys, man, at this point, I'm not even going to say on here. I'm not going to say on YouTube. I'm going to say on my Patreon channel. Uh, www.patreon.com slash Matthew Shack because when I say what I got to say about these two guys when it comes to these draft picks that they have had over the course of the last couple of years I say two seasons from 2019 well actually three seasons 2019 to 2021 oh so I'm going to be using a lot of profanity. I'm going to be saying a lot of things that I can't say on here, though. So if you really want to know how I truly feel, word for word, rough, rugged, and raw, Matthew Shack Unfiltered, take your tail over there, dog. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it PG-13 on this. Them cats absolutely destroyed our team. They absolutely decimated our offensive line. And there was nothing that Josh and Dave could do. Can't get mad at Josh and Dave, Raider Nation. Can't get mad at them and say that they should have figured it out. They came into a situation with these guys here. They came, he, they came into a situation where Alex Leatherwood was drafted too high. The guy played one season and now he's completely off the team. $11 million cap hit. He had three more years on his contract, a rookie contract. One of the biggest rookie cuts in recent memory. Even though that $11 million is going to be spread out over two years, it's still a $7.5 million cap hit. And it just goes to show you, man, those guys had no idea what the hell they were doing. Uh, Grudock. John Gruden, Mike Mayock, they had no idea what was going on, dog. And those cap numbers mean something, dog. That's potential other people we could have on the team. That's other needs that could be met that we can't meet because somebody was drafted too high, man. Everybody under those guys' tutelage hasn't panned out, man. Hasn't panned out, including Josh Jacobs, who was denied his fifth year option. Clee Farrell, Henry Ruggs, Damon Arnett, Jonathan Abram, who's not signed to his fifth year. Alex Leatherwood. It is what it is, man. Now we got to pick up the pieces and uh, figure out what the hell we're going to do. But couldn't even trade this guy. Couldn't even trade him, man. As young as he is, couldn't trade him. Nobody wanted him. As far as keeping him just to keep him with a lot of fans out there that I've spoken to, a lot of friends, Raider Nation. Sometimes, man, it's just best to, best to let something go, man. Stop holding on to stuff that ain't good for you. You ain't hold on to stuff that's good for you. There ain't no... this. this I trust... I trust the brain trust. I trust that. If they think that, that there is nothing they can do and he's not worth keeping, I got to go with it. I got to go with it, man. They did everything they could do. They moved to do the, the right tackle. They moved to do the left tackle. They moved in the right guard. They moved in the left guard. He don't have it, man. Maybe in a few years he'll have it, but he won't be playing for the Raiders. And that's what it is. Then I just heard that Trayvon Mullen just got traded to the Cardinals for a conditional seventh round pick. 
what is it that we're seeing as Raider, Raider fans that Josh and Dave aren't seeing? They see stuff we don't see. They're seeing stuff we don't see, man. I, I just have to understand that there's certain levels of football that you got to have that eye of the tiger to be able to see. And it's going to get worse today. These cuts, there's going to be more people that we're going to think that should be on the team. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Josh and Dave, man. They're the ones that are walking around with one hand full of rings and another hand with a ring on it. I want a Lombardi. I got to trust the process. I got to go through things I don't want to go through. I got to see people who I think have potential who can help my team be out of here. Some of it's self-inflicted. Some of it just over uh, overzealously thinking that these guys are better than they are. Drafted too high. Fighting above their weight class. So I'm going to lay here, man. Wait for my lunch to get delivered. And figure out what alcoholic beverage I'm going to wash it down with. Because the Alex Leatherwood experiment has failed. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shepard, Virginia.